It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to demonstrate our understanding of reflections as we answer a standardized test math question. Here is our problem for today. We are given line segment UV, which is shown on this coordinate plane. Point W, not shown, lies on line segment UV. The coordinates X, Y represent point W. Line segment UV will be reflected over the y-axis, and after the reflection, we're asked what will be the coordinates of the image of point W, and you're given four answer choices. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video now, do your best work, and then come back and hit play to see the solution. Welcome back. So we have line segment UV that we're reflecting over the y-axis. So here is our y-axis and we're reflecting it over so that we can determine the image of point W, which is on this line segment. So although we don't know the exact location of W, we can look at what happens to U and V so that we can determine what our correct solution is for W. So when I reflect, I'm going to U prime, my image is going to be the same distance from the Y axis on the other side. So I'm going to reflect it over. So here it is six units to the left of the y axis. The image or u prime is going to be reflected six units to the right. So that's u prime. If I folded this coordinate plane on my line of reflection, these would overlap. Let's do the same with v. v is two units from the line of reflection. So it's going to go two units to the right and plot our point and v prime, that little apostrophe, that prime, represents the image that happened after the reflection. So now we can look at this and understand that when we began, u was negative six, positive six as my coordinate. u prime is positive six, positive six. Okay, so now if we bring that down to look at it, we have u was negative six, six, and the image was u prime six, six. So we can see that this is all in terms of x and y. So we're going to look at this and understand that the only thing that changed when I reflected over the y-axis was the x-coordinate. It became the opposite. The y-coordinate stayed the same. So what would that look like when I write it in terms of x, y? I'm going to take the x term and make it the opposite, and the y term is going to stay the same. Now, before we go check our pick our answer solution, let's check v. v is negative 2, 2, and v prime is 2, 2. So when we look at our x coordinates, negative 2, and that's the opposite, the y's are the same. So our rule works. So we're looking for negative x, y, which is answer choice D, which will represent the image of point W. And really, any point on this line segment when it's reflected over the y-axis. So that is understanding reflections here today, understanding what happens when we reflect over the y-axis, and it only changes the x-coordinate to the opposite. That's the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.